VOW TV is brought to you by the Rails Marketing Group. Don't miss Black Gay Pride Chicago this 4th of July weekend. For a complete listing of the hottest events, visit www.railshy.net. IQ, Questioning. STD, BGH, HIJ, KLNOP, yeah. We're doing, and now we're down here at Sizzle promoting for Chicago Black Pride, uh, the weekend of July 4th. Um, same time as the Taste of Chicago. So it's a weekend of events. You guys have a lot of fun. It's a lot of food, a lot of celebrities. You know, Oprah's going to be there in the big drag <laughs> hat. What have you been doing since you've been down here at Sizzle? <sighs> Sizzle is another. It sizzle is like you know half and half for me. It's part vacation, part work. So I come down and I have my fun, and then I also you know have to you know promote what's going on. And also we have a gift for you, nice little water bottle that you guys will be seeing walking around. Oh. It's full of you know nice little goodies. Uh, goodies. Not only information about what's going on for the Fourth of July, but you know things that are essential for the weekend, like. Okay. What he's pulling out Breath right now. Breath mints. Breath. <laughs> okay. And also. Mouthwash. Mm hmm Is this a G show? I don't know. I don't know what I can say on this show. You can just say whatever you want. Okay. That's like, fine. You can curse. You can curse. Oh, okay. okay. Well, we're going to turn oh, the camera off first. The, our first time in bed was not supposed to be like this. Wasn't supposed to be no. public. No. I didn't know I was going to have an audience. Oh, well. Yeah. I can still perform. On a serious note, well, let's talk about some of the issues that are going on, like or, that I, like I've seen going on up around here. Mm -hmm. Older men and mm. young versus younger men. <laughs> sometimes it seems like it works, and sometimes it seems like well, maybe the old man hasn't grown up, or maybe the mm. child, the young man, is growing wow. too fast. Wait a minute, you touched on the good point right there. Older men who are of age but are very young in the mind. Everybody wants to blame, you know, the young men and say they're not old enough, they ain't going through life, but there are some older men downstairs who um, are like, they're older by age, but they're very young in the mind. So Rob, uh, are you single? I am single. Oh, really? I'm, I'm all alone, laying in a big old bed. What you like? What do I like? I think we have to turn the cameras off for that one. You can tell me right now. I can tell you right. I, like, I do like older guys. Oh, really? um, I like somebody who is active. When I say active, I mean they want to get out and do things. You know, take a hike and take a walk and go to the gym and things of that nature. Turn me on physically and mentally. Right. Would you ever consider being in an open relationship? Yeah. I. You know what? I've learned in my life to never say never. What about you? I don't do relationships per se for uh, the most part to begin with. I think that's another show. Maybe it is, but you know, our ancestors fought so hard to be free. Why enslave yourself to such an institution? Okay, real on a high level. What's wrong with relationships? 
I didn't say anything was wrong with it. It's just not right for me. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with the relationships with you? Nothing is wrong with it. It's just not for you. For me, at this time, I'm not gonna say that I'm like time. close to the idea indefinitely, but it's just a, because I hadn't been in bed with you before, so I mean, and nobody's yeah, just yeah. like you know knocked it out like where it's like ooh, I gotta be with you. You're oh, the one. Okay, so let okay me, well that's not true. It happen once because then I had to shoot it. I think relationships are beautiful. <laughs> they take a lot of work if you're willing to do the work, and that's the thing. Mm -hmm. I think people like they fall in love with the idea of being in a relationship uh -huh. and those romantic moments they see. Like, you know, I see them walking down holding hands and they're together. I want that. But you got to look at the other side of the picture. You got to deal with his habits, his mental instabilities and stabilities, yeah. his he's got to deal with credit, too. and he's got to deal with yours too. Exactly. Right. So that's what I'm saying. It's work. Two black people with bad credit and, you know, some good sex. That's a recipe for redundancy. Next, on bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> so what if I came home one day with a guy? We being you and him without me, or no, with all three of us? All three of oh, us. Welcome to the party. I'm back. Hey, baby. <laughs> it's this <laughs> I'm in the middle. <laughs> always want to be a feature. So always. No, I got... Welcome see, back I got to... I got out of the, the middle earlier. Um, oh, yeah. We had a... a this is our second three-way. So, yes. But this time, I'm, I'm sitting in the you, baby. I was being open and honest. Uh, see, sorry. that's the thing. Like, what is up with that? Like... Can't I would tell be, you beforehand. Why would you? Yeah. I mean, well, would but you we would have to have afterwards. that discussion unless it was an accident where. No, uh, let, let it out. out. Just let it all <laughs> out. You like, no, it, that's the thing. Would you tell him before or would you tell him after? Well, it would depend on our relationship. We got, because we got a house. Up. We got two dogs. Right, but at that point, we should have had conversations about. Okay, sex. this, this is, is a lot of sex. talk for a threesome. I mean, <laughs> let's just get it going. Now Rob has always wanted to be on Dating Dwight, so really? we well, got to hook him up. Now. I have been a quiet little fan of Rob. Seriously, yes. Yes. I would love to go on a date with Rob. Get your hands on All that off, off the camera. <laughs> 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 I heard you got to go in there. Okay. <laughs> I need to film in Chicago. I, I Chicago. You guys Chicago. do need to come to Chicago. I really would love for you guys to come to Chicago. Especially now that I'm on Glow. And yes, we have such Glow a huge TV. budget, you know, because Glow's doing big things. Very, 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 big, very, very big thing. Have you heard about Glow? I have. I'm okay, a subscriber. Yeah. All right. Subscriber. I get, I get the, the emails. Yeah, he's doing things. Yeah. yeah. It's going to launch in uh, Labor Day weekend. But they're going to be doing sneak tidbits in June. Mm -hmm. I think it's sneak tidbits in June. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and you guys are coming to <laughs> Chicago a a bitch for the 4th of, of July weekend. Not. What? I didn't do nothing. I'm, I'm just listening to the last thing in your heart. I'm not lusting. I'm just with a fork. I heard we got some mouthwash and we got <laughs> some, some gum, some gum, some cement, mm -hmm. and mouthwash. Right? Yes. You know we can definitely, you know, blow, 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 blow bubbles blow. together. <laughs> so no, are, are you guys gonna do more episodes of Christmas Street too? Definitely, yeah. Um, also, Christmas Street was actually picked up for Glow as well. Um, and yeah, the entire first season is going to air. So we're actually going to production really soon. I'm hitting the gym right. I'm, tr I'm not gonna be quite like like this because I like that on top of me, you know. I prefer oh. not to, you know, I just want to be, you know, toned and, and tight, but on top of me, <laughs> so who, this is fine. So on Christopher but, Street, who's the top and who's the bottom? On Christopher Street? Mm -hmm. My character's a bottom. On and off the screen. Uh -huh. If you got good credit, talk to me, you know, because, you know. Should you ask that on the first day? Not the first day. Not the first day? What date, what date do you ask? 1.5. <laughs> Because we mean the day ends at the end of like dinner, but the okay. drive home. See, but I'm like, is there, is it, so how you do you ask the the drive home? No. Is your credit fucked up? If, if your student oh, loan is a little behind, we, we can work with that. Okay, we so I have an 800 that. credit score, and you know I have money. Now I'm looking at you like maybe you possibly have different intentions. No, I don't have different intentions, but my thing is this wow. I'm a ship, and I am not the Titanic. You are not going to bring me down. What if this is somebody you love and maybe they lose their job? No, I mean, if I'm in love, you, I can work through recession. it. Like, we can recession. work through it. You know, if this is my husband, you know, we can, work, not we can work. I'm just yeah. hypothetically, you know, because once we're married and all, but, right? You know, once we're married and all, you know, I, I would leave my baby. And we're moving to Chicago and we'll be there for 4th of July weekend for Pride. I think I have to change the side of my show to Mary Dwight. Yeah, you go, That's go cute. right ahead. The, all, the whole season will be following our lives. We will, we will. Movers and shakers, promoters. And then once we're married, we're married. And Lonnell can have a special guest appearance. <laughs> 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 Each episode. <laughs>
<laughs> Each episode at the end, you can see me running <laughs> away from the gun. Now, see, this is why, you know, you can't be all emotionally super attached because you have these gutter butt slut buckets trying to be all up on your man. Didn't we Who you calling that? <laughs> Who you calling that? Go so, anyway, let me go ahead and get my man back. And uh, thank you, Dwight, for, yeah, thank you for. <laughs> Doing pillow talk with the No problem. Anytime y'all ever need yeah. me to come <laughs> by, <laughs> I know that to let you me know. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, pillow talk with us. And I'm Dwight Allen, and you can catch me and my husband in Chicago. Man.